I've waited five years to make this announcement. Ever since 2018, I dreamed about being on the United States Overwatch League national team. I dreamed of leading the team to gold. I dreamed of representing my country. And I failed. But I picked myself back up in 2019 and I ran again. God dang it. I failed again. And then came the year 2020 and, and well, we all know what happened in that year. <laughs> but hot gamer boys and e-girls everywhere, I am here to announce that I, what is that melody? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have been wanting to make this announcement video for five years now, but your boy, Bro Uwak, will be representing the United States Overwatch national team and the 2023 Overwatch World Cup. <laughs> Th th this is actually where you're supposed to clap and like, yay, congratulations, bro. You're like, okay, nobody cares. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, let's quickly catch y'all up with what's been going on. Because in case you guys haven't heard, the World Cup is going to be returning later on this year. Various countries from around the world gather their best players and staff to build the best team that they can possibly have to represent their country. And in my case, the United States is going to be competing in this year's World Cup. And you could have applied for three positions as the staff. You could have been the general manager, the head coach or the social lead. And because I'm not good enough to be a head coach and I didn't want to babysit as a GM, I applied for the social lead where you basically manage all the social media platforms because that's like that that's kind of my job and your boy got selected finally i applied originally in 2018 and then again in 2019 and i got beat out but third time's the charm baby so whenever you see a post from the usa's overwatch twitter page or tiktok or discord or wherever best believe that i had a part of it and if it's super cringy i definitely did have a part of it mostly all of it more likely <laughs> and for those that are wondering what the other staff positions are gonna be the gm is gonna be ran by albert who is the GM. GM for the Florida Mayhem, who I've worked with beforehand, and the head coach is going to be Gator, originally Overwatch League Pro, it turned into a head coach. Now, the next question you might be wondering is, okay, who are going to be the players on the national team? Is Super going to be on the team? Is Dante going to make a return? Is Jake going to come out of retirement and finally be a player? Whoa, 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 whoa! We just announced our announcement. We still got a lot of time before we have to announce the players. If you do want to keep up to date with any sort of announcements, you can always follow the United States Overwatch Twitter page, where we're we'll always make the announcement there first. But if you're wondering if this channel is going to turn into like the national United States YouTube channel, no, no, like nothing's going to be changing on this channel. You're still going to see the funny moments, normal news to just Overwatch 2 in general. Frankly, you probably won't hear a lot of national news on this YouTube channel other than maybe a vlog whenever it does happen and maybe some other major updates like when we actually assign players. So if you're worried that this channel is going to change, uh, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to be changing. But the reason why I'm wanting to make this video now is because I, I do feel like this is a pretty big accomplishment that I've been wanting ever since 2018 you know being able to represent the United States on a national stage in my favorite video game is something that like I've always wanted to do but something that not a lot of people would be able to say being able to be a part of something bigger than myself was something that I've always wanted to be a part of and ultimately that's what I dreamed of when I joined the Florida Mayhem and, and I, I never made this announcement publicly because I just felt like it wasn't really any good way to go about it but I didn't renew my contract with the Florida man because things just didn't really work out and I always want to have that sort of family aspect of a team and that's just not something I got with the Florida man and it's something that I'm hoping I can get with the National United States team even though it'll probably be very short-lived and just being able to add a little bit to the national team in any sort of way and also being able to compete for possibly even a gold medal I mean the USA won the gold medal last time so I think we got a good shot of winning it this time hopefully it all depends on like what's South Korea has to say, but it's something that I'm, I'm very excited about and I wanted to share with you guys. But to end this off, this is usually when I start to get teary-eyed and cry and say thank you for supporting me and not only being able to live out my dream because even though, yeah, it was a goal of mine to be on the USA, it's been a goal of mine to just be an entertainer and to make videos and entertain people every single day as a job and I've been able to do this full time for like four years now and I'm gonna be able to do it for years on end until however long you guys allow me to do and I just I, I really appreciate it and I just want to say thank you for supporting me and want to say thank you to anyone else outside of YouTube and whatnot that has supported me Th say thanks to Crystal because she's been my biggest supporter and cheerleader for the past year ever since moving to Florida and it's it's been a roller coaster especially for the past couple years but 
you know, one thing stayed consistent. Just my drive to make videos and to entertain people. That's how it's always been for the past 10 years. And it will be for however long I get to do it. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And let's go for gold, baby. USA! 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 USA!